Hey guys, I'm showing you my current morning routine and that's working from home. So I'm already cleansed and I'm gonna do a bit of Brightly. So we'll do a fingertip of that. And yeah, my skin needs it today. My skin's gotten a bit redder with the central heating going on and it's really quite cold in London today. So I want the goodness of azelaic acid to really help calm and support my skin. And it's not too dry and easy, which is nice. So I'm just gonna massage that in firmly and I don't take it into the eye area. I'm not currently using it on my neck because I'm just using my retinoid at night on my neck, but I am using it all around my T-zone to really get into those pores, to keep them perky and clear. So that's the azelaic acid and the niacinamide that really help with the pores. And then there's a scorboglucoside, which is gonna help with its antioxidant function. And then you've got the cuchiol, which again helps with texture, pigmentation, and keeping pores nice and clear. So a firm massage. And that's almost fully absorbed already, which is just what you want in a morning product. I'm gonna do a pump now of full fat, not flawless moisturizer. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. So let's try that again. Let's go for a flawless moisturizer that's got something in it, shall we? Okay, so that's one full pump. And I'm gonna just pop it around my eyes because the 5% niacinamide and the shea and the sodium hyaluronate and the Aquaxil all will really help with dryness. And fine lines just tend to look worse in winter because of low humidity. Everything's just that little bit less hydrated because of low moisture levels in the air. So I use that all around my eyes. And I just use that actually, that's, that's, that's essentially my eye cream. And you know, make sure to moisturize well at the temples. It's an area where I tend to find that I sometimes skip moisturizer and you get little dry patches. And let's just give the neck a little bit of flawless love because I've been using a little bit of tret on my neck recently. And uh, yeah, if I'm using tret in my neck, I certainly can't use any other actives in winter. Okay, that's looking a little brighter, a little perkier. Okay, so waste not, want not. A little bit of flawless moisturizer goes into the hands. And then I'm gonna do gossamer on tinted on my neck. And then I'm gonna do uh, Gossamer Tint 1 on my face. Because working from home, I just want the convenience of a single layer. I don't wanna wear a foundation. I just want a veil that makes everything look a little bit more even and brighter and clearer. And Gossamer, of course, does double duty both as a broad spectrum SPF 50, but also um, it's got a lovely dewy finish, which I think is just the right amount of coverage slash veil finish, however you want to describe it. Let's do this in stages. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So I didn't have to wait too long after applying my moisturizer to do this. Okay. That's gone in nicely. <laughs> Hello again. One, two, three.
So I really do find the 13 dot technique helps with the application of any product that needs to go over the whole face. Now I'm always quite careful with SPF around my hairline. I hate those little balls of sunscreen attached into the roots. Impossible to remove, but you do want to make sure you don't miss any bits. So that's that, down to the nose. And then I cover the sides of the nose, but just wipe it clear in the crease because again, I hate when product collects in that little groove on the side of the nose. And you can see how easily, guys, <clears throat> that's six pumps. That's your full amount now. I then take around my eyes. So a proper amount of protection and it really just leaves that glass skin glowy finish, which I was really a bit obsessive about whenever developing um, the finish for Gossamer and that sort of squalene base that just makes everything look gorgeous. All right, so let's do an eyebrow now. I'm going to use uh, Benefit, the, which one is this? The Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So brows always need a little bit of a brush through after doing SPF. And I've been using Loom again just to keep the brow grows nice and thick and it darkens them as well, which is quite good for definition. So if you've got light eyebrows, Loom again can help improve the definition a bit. Okay. Oh dear, I've got a cat in the area. Never a good thing when you're doing your brows. So I sometimes use this and also the hourglass brow pencil, which is a bit finer. So I'm going to kind of even out the shape because one brow's a bit more archy than the other. This one's my round one. So I kind of straighten the top and then I fill in the bottom to give it a bit more symmetry compared to the right one and then I give everything a good brush through so if I'm using the hourglass I'll often just define the hairs at the beginning of the brow and then it just helps you get sort of the more separate appearance of the hairs so it doesn't look too blocky. And then you can, again, clean up the lines. Okay. And then I use a bit of Anastasia's tinted brow gel. Just to hold everything in place. Then I do curl my lashes, so trusty Surratt lash curlers, which I love. These feel so much more substantial even than the Shumura ones. Fantastic. Then I wear just a touch of mascara and I'm working from home. And I really do like this fine brushed uh, one from Surratt. I'm having a bit of a Surratt love affair at the moment and just really targeting the roots so that the ends stay almost untouched by the mascara. So you've got that fluffy look. And you're just really building pigment up from your um, the iris. I won't do the bottom lashes for every day, just for evening. 
Okay, good. So then I'm gonna use uh, Power Fabric Armani concealer under my eyes, just a tiny bit. I haven't been sleeping so well recently, so I have been reaching for this. And it's a really good concealer for the under eye area because it's nice and thin, but with good coverage. So you can build it up into nice thin layers if needed. That is a cat attacking a cat. They always get very lively whenever we film, don't they, Pip? So I just focus on that kind of inner third where the blue is. I'm going to use a damp beauty blender, baby one. So I either use this or I use the uh, airbrush concealer pen from It Cosmetics, which is also really good. And if your concealer tends to sit in the tear trough, which is just that little groove in the inner corner, just move the skin across and blend it out so it doesn't collect in the furrow. And then I put a tiny bit just in the outer outer area where there might be some little blue vessels that you just want to tone down. And really that's kind of it for coverage. You know, it's uh, meant to be just an easy, effortless kind of little veil of something on the skin. And I'm just going to put a bit of cream blush. I'm going to use my Steel Up convertible color just on the apple. This is definitely not a, a contour kind of look. No eyeliner in sight. And I'm just gonna use the fat end of my blender just to kind of blend that out to nothing. I've used this color for so long now, I don't even think to question it. I think it's a good shade when you naturally have quite a bit of red in your skin. You don't want anything that's too pink. So the peachiness just kind of works. And then let's just, just a bit of freshness. And then on the lips, I'm just gonna use a tinted lip balm, just for like a little, a little touch of something. And it's really just to enhance my own natural kind of lip color so I don't look burly. And that's really it. And I guess what you'll notice is just the textures are just really sheer. Everything's very skin focused. Um, and bright and kind of healthy looking. And yeah, I mean, I didn't even use concealer. I got a few little red marks, but in the end, particularly if you're just doing Zoom calls or whatever, it's the overall impression that your skin gives. And I think a bit of definition here, groom your hair, don't overthink it. And uh, yeah, that's my easy breezy work from home look. Hope you liked it guys. If you do hit subscribe and like, and I'll see you again soon.